Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at levies and answer some questions such as how do they work, do they make things better or do they make things worse and what alternatives do we have? First of all, let's take a quick look at the terminology. Levies and levy dikes are American terms. UK and Commonwealth use dikes, embankments, flood banks or stop banks. Levies are often made of earth and sometimes reinforced with concrete or other materials. They run parallel to rivers or coastal areas. Their main role is to control the flow and the path of water, prevent water from flooding, and create new land. There's some very interesting uses of levees in Holland. They have used them to reclaim huge areas of land from the sea, and these levees have been used for thousands of years. We've seen examples from ancient China. They have also occurred naturally, interestingly enough. Here you can see in our first animation, the river floods easily on both banks of the river, causing damage equally on both sides. Here in our second clip, we have built levees on both sides of the river and it has managed to hold back the water and prevent flooding. Levees are not always successful and can be breached if the water becomes too high or if erosion damages the foundations of the levee, if it weakens the levee until it breaks. Seepage can also cause the levee to fail. If the water seeps into the levee, it can flow through the levee and it pulls it down. One of the biggest downsides with levees is that they simply move water downstream or to other areas that are flood prone. In this animation, we can see what happens when only one town builds the levee. It causes the water to be redirected and it worsens the flooding. This can be related to inequality, as richer towns or areas can afford to build better and higher levees than poorer towns. The poorer towns will then suffer more flooding, more regular flooding and worse flooding, thus making it harder to escape their low income status. And this can be seen a lot in America where individual towns and districts have a lot of control over what gets built in the, their towns. Another downside is that they can destroy wetlands, which are rich and vital ecosystems. So right now, you might be wondering, why do we build levees at all, if actually they can make flooding worse? Well, they do improve the path of the river and can help control it, which makes it far easier for river navigation by big shipping boats. Properly managed, they can effectively divert water to floodplains and spaces specifically designated for flooding, such as wetlands. They can also be used to reclaim land from wetlands and even create new land from the sea, which may become more and more important in the future as the world's population rises and so too do the sea levels. One possible solution is to build setback levees. These levees are not directly next to the river like the American counterparts, but are built further back. And as you can see from the animation, it allows for more water to be in the system before it floods. And simply put, there is more space to fill up before it gets too high and the river floods. The land which is designated as floodplains can be used for animal farming, it can be left for natural wetlands, and this is a great thing. To summarize, levees can be really good if they are used correctly and governments and councils take into consider all of the factors that go into what makes it successful. You know, whether the water will be diverted to other areas, where will it go to? Where's this water gonna go? If they take this into consideration, then we can have successful levels. If they don't take this into consideration and they just build the levee, that water might end up somewhere else in the system causing even more damage. So we need to be really careful when building levees. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask down below in the comments. I'm always happy to answer them. Thank you very much.